Welcome to Spotlight Real Estate. Today we're spotlighting Michael Knowles. How are you? Very good, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being on the show. Sure. Okay, before we begin the real estate side of the questions, we want to ask some questions of Michael so you can get to know him a little bit better. Okay, now these are rapid fire questions. Okay, hit are me. Are you ready for this? Yes, sir. Okay. What is your favorite Disney movie of all time? Well, since uh, Disney recently, in the last few years, bought the Star Wars franchise, mm -hmm. that's an easy question for me. I am a huge uh, Star Wars fan, okay. starting with the original 1977 Star Wars, and uh, enjoy everything that they put out. Okay. Big Star Wars fan. Yes, sir. Excellent. Next question is, what was the first car that you owned? Oh. <laughs> the, Taking it back here. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of funny. The first car I owned... Uh, was a 1984 Toyota minivan. Really? Yeah. And the cool thing is my aunt sold it to me. She and her husband decided to sell everything okay. and buy an RV and take off across the country. Mm. And so in the process, I, uh, I was in high school and I wanted a car and so she let me buy it from her, kind of a sweetheart family deal. Oh. I paid her, uh, uh, the sale price was $2,000, but I paid her $100 a month, and I could skip a month, but never two months in a row. And I had two years to pay her back. Wow. So uh, it, it was great, it was a lot of fun. Uh, standard transmission, yeah. <laughs> a minivan, did a lot of your friends get in that car? Oh, and... there, yeah, there was a lot of craziness because I had that car in high school and then into college. So uh, there there are a lot of stories that go along with that, that van. I bet, I bet there's <laughs> some stories. Uh, next question, what is your favorite travel destination? Oh, man. Uh, you know what? That's kind of a softball question for me because yeah. it's not the destination, it's the uh, uh, companionship. Uh -huh. So when I go, uh, you know, as you know, I have three beautiful children, beautiful wife. I really like to go with my family. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're, we recently, my wife and I got to go to Arkansas recently and that mm -hmm. was great. And the whole family is going to uh, Florida coming mm -hmm. up. So we're gonna have a, an awesome time. So you're saying, the best destination is where your family is. That's correct. Mm -hmm. I'm a father too, I have two daughters <laughs> and a wonderful wife, so I know the feeling. Okay, next question. Now this will make you think a little bit. Okay. Just imagine you're at a restaurant, you've already finished a good meal. Okay. Waiter comes up and offers you either pie, cake, or ice cream. Mm. What do you go with? Pie, cake, or ice cream? It's, What's your it, favorite dessert? So here's the deal. <laughs> <laughs> dessert is my thing. Yeah. So I'm waiting for you to say all of the above. <laughs> but I'm, I'm hearing that that's not an option. That's not an option. No. What about this? Can I have, if I can only have one, it's the cake. Okay. But I'll also go for the ice cream, uh, I mean the pie a la mode with the ice cream. I got something so. better. You order the cake and you tell everyone else, there the you, table, go. you order and ice cream, you all share. You all share That's a great idea, but dessert is my thing. I love it. I love it. Okay, next question. If you could own any sports team, any sports team, basketball, football, mm. right? Okay. Baseball, which team would it be and why? Man, I, you know, it's neck and neck between the Houston Astros and the Houston Rockets. Okay. Uh, the you Astros. Make one choice. I know. Which the Astros, the Astros, because of their recent uh, uh, winning, their 2017 championship yeah. is right up there. But the Rockets are going to edge it out because uh, you're a longtime Houstonian. Oh, sure. You know mm -hmm. in 94, yeah. 95, our back to back championships. Yep. That is just ingrained in me. It's just. Uh, uh, so much fun those So the those answer times. is? The Rockets. The Rockets. Houston Rockets. <laughs> okay. Remember, teams go up and down, right? Right now, they're both hot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very good. Okay. All right. So that finished our session with the up rapid fire questions. And now we want to talk about some of the real estate side of things. Okay. And Michael, you've been a realtor for a long time. You were at Keller Williams Memorial. Um, why do you love helping people in real estate? You know, it's it's an honor for me to be able to be with somebody during a pivotal time in their life of selling a home or buying a home uh, and helping them through. The whole goal for me is to do such a great job that they refer me their friends and family. Yes. Uh, so I view that 
that interaction as a very personal thing. People are making what is most likely the biggest Thanks. financial decision sure. in their life, and it can be so stressful. And if I can take some of that stress off of them by bringing my experience to the table, helping them through as, uh, you know, every transaction has ups and downs. Uh, so when I can help somebody to get through those ups and downs and get to the closing table so that they can either purchase their new home or sell their home and move on to their next adventure, that is uh, so gratifying to me. It must make you feel good that the place that they're they're gonna live for some years, build family memories, that you had a part in that. It's awesome, and and you know, over the years, of course, uh, some clients have turned into such great friends, yeah. so it's so fun. You know, maybe I helped someone buy their house five years ago, and then we're going over to their home just to socialize and be there and engage with them as friends. And knowing that I had a piece in helping them to create that that feeling of home is so much fun. It's so true what you're saying because I remember, I don't know, I'm heavy 13 or 12, and we're, we were selling, moving to a new home. The agent showed us some properties. We fell in love with the home as I walked through, you know, trying to pick your room out as a little kid. Uh, but I, rem I still remember the realtor's name. There you go. I still remember his name. And, you know, and so it means a lot at that life, not just for the parents, but for the kids, too. Yeah, it's it's interesting because the industry is changing so rapidly. Mm -hmm. I've been in the industry for almost 15 years. And if you look at it 15 years ago and today, there's a lot of uh, corporations coming in yeah. and and you know what i like to bring is is a personal touch to the transaction so the fact that you remember your yeah. realtors as a kid you remember the realtor's name that's my intention is to be there as a personal face so that uh, uh they they end up having a great feeling about their transaction absolutely absolutely Okay, next question is when is the, this, I know you ask this a lot, but you know, when is the best time to buy or sell? You're right, that question comes up a whole lot. Yeah. And so what I like to explain is in Houston, Texas, because we don't have really uh, harsh winters, right? Where there's snow everywhere. In other markets, when there's, you know, when they have a harsh, harsh winter, you get this really, uh, in the in the winter time, the activity goes way down, and spring and summer it goes way up mm -hmm. because that's when people can move. In Houston, we still have that, but it's just yeah. a much much smaller effect. So if you ask me, when is the absolute best time? It's probably spring going into summer. But remember that in Houston, it's just a little bit more activity rather than a lot of activity. Yeah. If your job changes, if you, uh, if your life circumstances are such that you need to put your house on the market in November, you don't have to worry, oh, we're missing out on everything. It's still a very good time because Houston doesn't have that crazy weather. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, it wasn't too long ago. I remember I sold my house in December. Yeah. I mean, you know, and you're always there every month of the year for them, aren't you? Absolutely, absolutely. And what we're doing, what I do, uh, what any good real estate agent does is really look at the comps for that time, what's mm -hmm. going on right then. Excellent. Okay, well, thanks for being on the show today. Absolutely. Yeah, it's always been a pleasure. To, we got to know each other over the year, and uh, Michael's a great guy, and his information is going to be pulling up at the end of the show. Stay tuned for that, and if you have any questions, please reach out to him. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.